part of the private Ronald S. Lauder collection. Cezanne painted another version, which is on display in the Guggenheim Museum in New York. The absence of a difference between both halves of the Guggenheim man's face suggests a frontal view with the man having a rhino. In man with crossed arms, the strangely distorted, proto-cubist view of the sitter, his right eye is depicted as if glimpsed from below and the left as if seen from above. Contri Portrait of the man with arms folded or crossed, created in circa 1899, we can see another deviation from standard painting rules, namely the incorporation of more than one point of view in a picture. According to the arced eye and eyebrow, the right half of the face seems to be seen from below. However, the left part of the face seems to be seen from above. The eyebrow looks something like a flipped Cezanne was born in 1839 and grew up in the countryside of Aix en Provence. As a child, he had a great interest in nature and the natural landscape. He would often go hiking and exploring with his friends, and these formative experiences of nature would prove to be influential on him. Cezanne began to paint in 1860, deciding he would rather follow his interest in art than pursue the career in law that was laid out for him by his father. Formed the bridge between late 19th century Impressionism and the early 20th century's new line of artistic inquiry, Cubism. Cezanne's often repetitive, exploratory brush strokes are highly characteristic and clearly recognizable. He used planes of color and small brush strokes that build up to form complex fields.